A low estimate, and I mean low, is eight out of 10 births, normal births, result in upper neck injury, okay? So I could almost guarantee you just about everybody in here had it at birth. Now, let's say you were one of the two out of 10 and you did really good and everything went great. It's estimated there's about 4,000 falls by the time we're three, okay? So all the bumps, all the falls, all the different things, bouncing into the couch head first a thousand times before lunch, you know, that's a day, that's one day for a, for a kid. So I mean, I can almost guarantee you that's- Is that about zero? <laughs> yeah. I can almost guarantee you that it happens. And actually, I, it's hard to, to put guarantees, so that's why I say almost. But even my four kids, all of them, by the time they were six months, I think one of them went as long as six months, needed an upper cervical adjustment. Okay, that's six months, that's my kids, knowing what I know, I couldn't prevent that. How do you prevent it? You don't put a brace on them and don't let them move. I mean, they're gonna live. So, so what do you do? You check them. So I'll just put that in perspective about yourselves in this room. Obviously everybody here is more than six months, but not only that, what about grandkids? What about your kids, right? We start to think about these things. It's very possible that there could be trouble here that nobody's looking for, okay? If, if a doctor is not trained to look for it, then don't expect them to diagnose that and correct that. They're just not going to. They're gonna do what they do. Just like I only do this. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna step on doctor's toes and try to do their job. I'm gonna do what I do and that's it. <clears throat> okay, that bottom part, that quote, those are the five most dangerous words, especially for adults. Maybe it will go away. Basically.